And once we do that, we can actually learn how to protect ourselves from it to like catch on to us and reel it back in. You know, this car, you could say, or this vehicle isn't just a vehicle. It's a fucking mechanism that pulls our point of attention into it, for God's sake. It can, it can point, it can grab our point of attention wherever it is. Maybe it's somewhere positive and it can convince us, like luring us back into the vehicle with some idea. And the idea might sound super enticing. It might sound super good. It might sound really powerful and really like positive and really good in that moment because we're not there. We're, we're actually far, we're much more into the present moment than it is. And it needs to, the mind needs to convince us how to pull us back into its own um, energy field. And it does this by convincing us of like positive changes or positive, you know, which are absolute shite, by the way, because they don't exist in the moment. And here's the catch. Here's a good like, you know, banner on the side of the road knowing that you're coming into this place is by when the mind convinces you of a better future. This is truth. If the mind starts to convince you like, oh, yeah, we have to start doing this because things are going to be better in the future. This is how the mind lures you in. It, it starts to pull you into the state of perception out of this present moment. There is no such thing as a better future. There is only a manifestation within this present moment. And the manifestation within this present moment exists from the heart. We can all blossom in this moment and keep blossoming into the future. There, there is no future. This is the true illusion. We can all just keep blossoming in this present moment all blossoming, blossoming, blossoming. Now, this present moment is the future. It is the past. It is the present. It only keeps blossoming. And when the mind convinces you that you need to listen to the mind to be able to re-insure a positive future or to re-insure a, um, yeah, to like guarantee success or guarantee... It's luring you down a path. And then when you keep listening to the mind, eventually you understand that the mind wasn't a good guy. It was actually trying to lure us away from our hearts because when we're always listening to the mind, we stop listening to the heart. We start to close the heart's awareness. And it's so obvious. Like Everyone has their own unique experiences in life. But when we're chasing money or chasing success or chasing with the perception of the mind that says, no, we need to be comfortable, but we know in our heart that we could have done something else that maybe would have been the risk. It would have been like, okay, maybe I wouldn't have so much money, but at least I knew I'd be happy in that moment. Happiness is everything. If we're happy in this moment, we have the we have infinite potential to keep blossoming within this present moment, no matter how hard it gets, no matter what challenges come towards us, no matter what energy comes in, tries to interfere with our life. When we're happy in this moment, we're so much more powerful than if we're not happy in this moment and we're only living from our mental frame of mind. Because when we're living from our mental frame of mind, we're supremely vulnerable because we're not, we don't have any of that heart's truth. You know, we don't have any of that heart's. So when people ask us what we're doing, we feel vulnerable because we don't have that purpose, that sense of truth, that sense of, uh, you know, enlightenment through within the heart. And when people talk to us and like other people come with their energy into our lives, we don't feel like we're working on anything because we're not working on anything within the higher sense of purpose of oneself. We're only working on the mind's perceptional um, um, paradigm, which it's trying to pull us into, which is like a, an absolute shite paradigm because it's just based on f control and separation. It's trying and separation through separation we enter the frame of mind of jealousy comparison because we start to separate from people and then we start to compare ourselves to people we start to analyze people of like oh what are they doing what are they got how am i different to them you know what do i need to do to be better than them it's so toxic you think we've come here to live this life to have this experience think from the heart the heart's perspective understands that we are all true divine love and like we can live and work together, but at least we need to feel the, the balance of truth, which is like, okay, let's live together, but let's also connect together. You know, it's all about balance.